I made sure it held water. There was a water pump filter that was attached to this that broke off that was attached to the pump. Um, so we pulled the inside pieces out that were broken. And I bought a new filter. So I'm going to attempt to attach that. We cleaned this all out. And I'm going to try to put that back together and see if the pump works. Um, when we took the table down, we did notice a soft spot right here. So we'll have to investigate that once we figure out about the pumps and the water. Then we come in and we're going to have to figure out this. Which I'm assuming is just all going to need to be replaced and fixed. Same with this area here, which we have yet taken that board off. And we're going to have to redo the roof too. So as you can see, in here, it's very soft. But over here is fine. Maybe a little bit, so I might just redo this whole piece but the rest of the walls are solid. We got some supplies. Trying to clean everything. So far, so, so good. The fridge works. Everything stayed nice and cold. I did end up blowing up a Red Bull, so I gotta clean that, but it's still frozen. heated that I was dealing with. I just took out the guts. There's some nasty slime in there. That's the drain plug. That's the... So I got that all disconnected. Look at this. It's completely eaten away. So the gentleman said that I might need to just replace the whole hot water heater. And instead of paying 250 for just this, I could pay 500 and get this and the whole hot water heater. So that's where we're at. from the old cushion so it's still got its tag on there I reuse the zippers I do have a couple pucks that I don't like but considering I think it looks pretty darn good Hi everyone! So I painted all the rotted boards that I plan to fix so that I know exactly where they go. I don't know. I saw it on a YouTube channel. So I figured I'd try it. So I took off, took the microwave out, took the cabinet door out, and I took the cabinet wall off because we do have 
a little bit underneath where the cabinet is. So I will have to replace this roof at least up until here. Um, and I'll have this board okay right here, but right here it's all rotted and this has a light that comes out, so I gotta be careful about that. Um, this tool, friggin' awesome. Get one. Uh, it's made short work of like cutting into the walls. It's amazing. But that's just the progress for right now. I'm having so much fun. It's ridiculous. So I took off the rubber right there. It covers this track, covers these screw holes. And I'm taking this off. If you look, you can see my light inside, but this is what we're dealing with. So I'm taking this track off and it's just pulling away. And you can see that that beautiful tape is like disintegrated. It's supposed to be so this this stuff here is your what they call butyl tape. It's a putty that goes underneath. But what I like is that wasn't leaking. I do have some rusted screws, but I think it's just because of the wood got wet from up top. Uh, I think at some point maybe a tree might have hit this or something. So I got to take this off in order to get this. I'm hoping I don't have to replace all of the rubber roof, but I feel like I'm going to have to because, oh, well, it's getting a little worn in spots. You can see. Where it's uh where it's cracking. So I do think I'm gonna have to replace the whole rubber roof, which means I gotta take everything off. But I'm wicked excited about it. I'm probably not gonna be wicked excited about it like in the long run, but like kind of in the excited right now. I'm lucky this is not cracking even though I put an order in to get new ones. It's not cracking. So see how this comes off. And it's attached. So I'm just gonna put this out of the way. I'm gonna try to get the rest of these off. It would be easier if I use like an actual drill and whatever. But it's just an FYI. Um, I've been watching a lot of videos. See, this is the rubber roof. Yeah, this is supposed to be under here, at least until about right here, because that's the curve of the roof. So, this has just been taken on whatever kind of water damage where all of this joined, this joined, the strip that I removed joined, where the rubber roof doesn't even come. They just, somebody hacked the shit out of trying to repair this roof.
this mess. Malanta. Just a little rot. Anyone hungry for worms? <laughs> Look at the mycelium. Good God. What the fuck, baby? Mm. the roof. This is going to suck. i take all this out. Replace all this. Oh, well. More work. But at least the walls on the front is done. Some wood to replace, at least two sheets. There's the AC. That's going to be the next thing to get down. We're going to try to do that today. There's the part of the one to replace. Those look alright, but we'll see how easy it is to replace this wood. Just a couple. I love you. Bunny, what are you doing? Bunny? Yeah? Snow's going down. We've been working on this since 9 o'clock this morning with a small break. Fuck yeah.
take all these screws out. I found the mother load. I'm gonna have to play some games when we're done. This is gonna be like the camp again. I already got like a whole bunch. This is insane. These mice must have loved fucking dice. The mice dice. edges going on. So, all the edges have been sanded. All the wood has been replaced. All brand new insulation. All the holes have been cut. I'm excited. Next is going to be cleaning it off. Getting the rubber roof on, placing that, and making sure that it's going to fit properly. Hi, Miss Kitty. Hi, Rose. And then, uh, once that's glued on, put all the transition strips on, and she will be buttoning up. Miss Kitty. Hi, Rose. <laughs> Here we are. I can't believe we've made it this far. Oh my God, yeah. Isabel, we did it. Got the seal back on for the most part. A little bit of a difficulty right here. That's how that works.
that trim all on. Getting there though, a little bit at a time. So, a quick update on the camper. I worked on it quite a bit yesterday. Laura was here as well, and Laura was giving me a hand cleaning up some of the last bits. This is the front transition strip. strip other than I have one long one that's got to go on the back side that I have not gotten so that's um, a transition strip that I need to put on and cut away well. let me just show you what I was working on yesterday Refrigerator piece. Just gonna put it real quick. Hopefully, I don't fall off the ladder trying to show everybody this. to go in. Got that one installed as well. And, uh, this one's old, so I'll probably replace that eventually as well. But it works for now. Uh, same thing with these things in this. Uh, the plastic is very brittle. So I want to make sure that I fix it. good again. Making progress. Still gonna put the AC on. And then I'm gonna shore up these things here. Not too bad. Getting there.
wrap it to the butyl tape. So you leave this hanging over a little bit. And you're supposed to kind of kick it in. Well, you're supposed to put it under there, of course. I can't really do too, too much because I get one hand I'm working with. So then the rest of this. I got my transition strip on, so I'm happy. And I got this buttoned up on the side. So now this protects where all the screws are. And there's extra water barrier. So I got my corner seal tape on. I got my transition strip on. I screwed up and I had to fix things. I had to peel back the roof some because this aluminum actually went over onto the wood, which I had already glued the roof to the wood, which, so I had to peel back like six inches of the roof. Um, and then get the transition strip on. Um, so the aluminum goes right up here and it actually goes underneath the transition strip and it, it goes into the wood. So I stapled the aluminum on, put the butyl tape on the transition strip, and then put the transition strip on to where the aluminum is stapled to the wood and then extra secured it with the, the nuts. Um, it's still not watertight because I have to use the lap seal to seal everything up. So I'm going to finish doing this. I can cut this extra away. I can get the lap seal going on all of this, these here, this here. And since Beth Hart is canceled, I guess this weekend is going to be working on the camper. So that is where we're at. Little dog. Little dog, little dog. Hi, baby. What are you doing? Chuff, chuff. Who is it? Hi, baby. Whenever I say hi, baby, she thinks I'm talking to somebody else. But it's just her. Isabel. Hi. Rotten. <laughs>